Morning, 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 welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Love 500, and welcome back to Elizabeth. Bit of time travel now, we're gonna go back in time, we're gonna get it from in front of the house to here, swap it over with a white pop, and then we're gonna make a start on this one. Today, we're gonna get that wing off, have a look, see what's underneath, and maybe put a temporary new wing on, which I've bought, a brand new one. So let's make a start, welcome to Project Elizabeth, let's get on with it. To give you a reminder it's quite bad isn't it it looks probably i'm hoping it's going to look worse than it is so i think that bracket under there is going to need replacing without a shred of a doubt it can, i can see from here it's scrambled up hopefully the tip of that inner wing is not damaged hopefully it's just that bracket that goes on the end that's damaged um, and hopefully there's no damage underneath there it may have just hit it and then stopped because it's obviously bounced off um we don't really know until we get it off so hopefully there's no damage at all underneath is there if there is any then hopefully it's something that we can straighten out using our um, welding tools and what have you um but you know no damage to the seals we've already gone all over this anyway but no damage to the seals the door i know some of you said that door's past it and yeah you, you, I'm, I'm sure you're probably right but um i'm gonna have a little go at it and see what i can do with it but I am still looking for doors and wings. There are no wings, there are no, there is one door that is 150 pounds or, or best offer and 50 pounds delivery. Now I don't really wanna be paying 200 pounds for a door if I can help it. So because this has just been sitting there for a few days or for a couple of weeks since I bought it, um, I've been looking several times every day on eBay and on Facebook and so on and so forth, trying to find parts, none available. I have bought and it's sitting in the car, a brand new wing and I may attempt to paint it. I may attempt it. Rattle can it. Uh, if, it if it's a load of crap, it don't, or if it doesn't um, match, then obviously it'll need to get painted properly. Because can't, at the moment, this paint, this cut, uh, this color is always a pain to try and get parts for. Um, which is why I started buying the bumpers. Um, you know, I've now got one painted bumper and one, one, one brand new painted bumper and the second hand bumper with lights, but for this I don't need it because I can repair this one. It's just the wing and the door, which is really why I wanted to try and repair that if I can. But anyway, let, let's get it jacked up, let's get it up on a stand, get the wheel off, and then we'll start and take this wing off and see what we've got underneath. As you saw there wing off it's funny all all of the bolts except for that one that one and that one were all off that was already all cut that was off that was off two in there were off that was off i mean some of them are in the car in fact they're probably all in the car which are now in there um and what i also discovered this is a replacement wing although it is an, it is an original, it's an original, it is an official Fiat wing, but this is a new one, so it's obviously had a new wing at some point. And they used a proper Fiat one, so it's probably been done at Fiat. Now I say that, if they'd done it at Fiat, they would have renewed this, and I don't reckon this has ever been renewed, the seal. So I reckon it's like I do, they just put it on. In fact, I always put seal over it afterwards, but 
whoever put it on, although they used an original part, which probably means it was done as an insurance job, but they've not put the sealant back, which I'm pleased about. Um, but yeah, there appears to be absolutely no damage underneath whatsoever, which is great news. The only thing is, is this bracket here is bent inwards, which, there you go, fixed. <laughs> Obviously it has to be a bit more, bit more precision done than that, but that's pretty much um, the only damage. I probably, I'm gonna, I imagine I'm gonna have to renew that unless I can bend that back into shape as well. But no, I've, I think I've got some spares of those ones. Not sure if I've got a passenger side one, but I'll have a look. If not, I'll order one of those. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try and straighten that. I'll take that off, but this, this bit can be straightened. I don't think it's supposed to be dead straight, if I remember rightly. I think it, it's not horizontal, that is at an angle. But obviously we can adjust that once, once the wing's on and the bumper's connected to it to, to get it all sort of, you know, lined up properly and um, the gap's right and what have you. So that's, that's not a problem at all, but I'll get a new, um, a new bracket on. But yeah, the only thing I can see here, um, although the steering wheel is straight, it seems to drive straight, etc, uh, etc. Et the fact that we've got a little clean mark there makes me think that the, the inside of the tyres hit it probably on impact, whether it just hit it and then bounced back. But I know we've had the issue with the bottom arms before being bent and you couldn't see it. But there is, apart from that little clean bit there, can't see anything else wrong with it. So I think what we'll do, once we've got it all back together, we'll take it for um, straightening, uh, straightening wheel alignment and then if this, obviously if necessary, I will change anything here, but I don't think anything's damaged at all. I really don't. The bottom arm, it all looks good. Um, the, the bushes on it are all good. Um, there's certainly no bend or anything visibly in the shock. So I think it's all gonna be fine. It was probably just a slight glancing blow. Let's have a look on the tire actually. Yeah, so there's no wear on the tyre that shows that it's done that. Maybe there? Possibly. But it's not damaged the tyre, it's not damaged the wheel. Maybe... I don't know. No, see, so you would expect it to be clean rather than anything else. But, yeah, there doesn't appear to be any damage at all to the tyre or the wheel. So I think that was just a... When it hit it. I don't think it's done any damage. Yeah, I think I got off lightly with this one. So what we'll do is we'll clean up all that. It's a shame I haven't got a wing in colour. Uh, I'm going to use the slide hammer on this and try and um, line this up a little bit better. Get it in a straight line and then I'm going to offer up the, um, the brand new wing I've got. Obviously there's no paint on it at the moment, but just to get something on here temporarily. And I'll continue to look for a blue one. don't think I'm going to get one. So I'm probably going to get some paint and give it a go. But yeah, all looks good under here. Pleased with that. Right, let's get that chiselled off. All this stuff chiselled off. And um, we'll get this new wing out and offer it up. I'll take this off, actually. Uh, actually, no, yeah, I'll go and see if I've got one of those before I go any further. Oh, I just realised I'm still on the jack. I haven't actually put an axle stand under there yet. I better get one under there sharpish. Naughty me. Obviously we don't know about um, gaps and what have you yet because obviously the gap will have to be adjusted there. So I'm not going to put that into final position until such time as the door's on anyway. So I'm not going to put the arch liner on and so on. Um, I did have a, a bit of trouble with it down here, getting it to fit. Um, it's, not, it's not fitted properly at the moment, but it, I, I want to leave that bit loose at the bottom. So the, the two bolts that go to the wing to the bracket are done up and the one to the headlight is done up but the ones that connect the bracket to the inner wing, only one of them's on at the moment. Um, 
I need to, it needs to allow for a little bit of in and out to try and figure out to get it in the best place. But everything up here is all lined up nicely. Um, it, may, it may need to move forward a smidgen, I don't know. But as I say, you know, we can do that once we've got the door on. Um, but I'm going to put a bracket, I think I've got a bracket, I'm going to put a bracket on, uh, on the wing and then I'm going to push, plug the bumper in as it should be and um, see, if it, uh, see if it fits nicely. And that's a better way of being able to do it up as well because it allows for a little bit of movement. So, to, you know, we always have this problem with the gap. And, and I think at the moment, I think it needs to tilt slightly that way, only very slightly. But then of course, you know, to, to adjust the gap, we've got to move the entire, probably got to move the entire thing forward because the gap on the door, this side is perfect. That hasn't, it hasn't shifted the door. So it will have to be moved over a little bit anyway. So we will have to undo those and, you know, move it around before we put the light back on again permanently. But yeah, it's getting there. It's not a lovely coloured wing. So yeah, I'm quite possibly going to paint this wing. That's quite a nice colour actually, olive green. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd rather get a proper one, but I've got at some point, I've got to try and do it with a spray can. I would have um, rather done it with a white one, I have to say. Um, a white's a lot more forgiving than this blue. And also this blue is quite difficult to match. But we need to try it, I suppose. So yeah, so far so good. Could have a little fiddle. Um, see if I can move it forward a little bit and try and improve that gap. But I want to take it off because I want to try and sort this door out because I don't want that door then um, fouling the new wing and damaging that, even though, I, you know, at the moment it's just a temporary wing but I don't want to do that so um, I'm going to take this wing back off again and uh, and have a go at that door I've got the slide hammer out I need to have a go at that just try and straighten that door out a little bit so I'm going to do that uh, and I'll be back shortly right that's not too bad is it I've put the thing on it's still oop. it's obviously it still needs to um, bolt up but that, that's obviously not bolted in so that was loose but that once that's in position that's not that's actually not not too bad the gap might be very very slightly too much there um, whether we can do anything about that or not I don't know but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try tipping that forward a little bit which will in in theory will push that forward a little bit as well I don't want to I don't want it in perfect condition because obviously I've got to take it off to paint it but that will help me to get those bolts done up in the right place underneath if I can get it you know in the right place like that so that's not bad that's not bad start so I think I definitely got off a little bit lightly on this no structural damage whatsoever great stuff okay morning or rather afternoon um, so it's Saturday today lunchtime um, I haven't done any more to it since the last bits you saw earlier on in the week. Um, work is in, has got in the way and there's, uh, there's been some family issues as well that uh, have stopped me from doing anything. But um, today I've got the paint now. I bought the paints from uh, Paints For You. I bought two cans of... Uh, yep, that's the right colour. A zero. 952 um, yeah two cans only just one as I don't expect to use more than one but um, only obviously I bought two because it's cheaper in the long run to buy two at a time um, as I and I have actually already still got some but not a massive amount and I use the other one just for doing a little touch-ups and whatever which isn't direct gloss these are these are both direct gloss so I will write that on the lids as well just so I don't uh, get confused but um, I've been looking at least twice a day to try and get a door and a wing there's just nothing in this color at all literally nothing which is really frustrating um there's not even any that are up that you know could be broken for spares um which i think i will do actually i will look for one in this color to break for spares for future use but it's, yeah it's a bit frustrating that i can't actually find the parts in color so the door um i've abandoned my efforts in uh, trying to repair it it is a shame uh, and I am contemplating trying to um, sell the door as it is. If I can get some money back for it, rather than dumping it, taking everything out of it and dumping it, I'll sell it as a complete door, but with the damage. Um, 
then hopefully I might be able to do that. So as I say, my plan today is I'm going to take the wing off now. And I'm going to put, take it in the back garden. It is a little bit breezy today. I can't do it in the garage. There's just not room. The spray will go everywhere. I need to set up some sort of little gazebo in the garden somewhere, just a small one. If I can get like a two meter square one, that would do me. Um, so I might, I have got a proper gazebo, um, you know, material one, which is a pop-up one, but I'm not using that because it'll ruin it. Um, so I might, do, I might invest in one of those at some point, just a cheap one, even a second hand one. Um, so I'm only going to ruin it by putting paint all over the inside of it, but it would just give me something that's out of the, out of the dust. You know, I can put it on the grass, that's not a problem, um, but it's keeping insects off of it and keeping dust off of it and so on, which, you know, dust isn't so much of an issue, but I think doing it outside in the garden, insects are going to be an issue, sticking to the paint when it's still wet. Luckily the paint does dry quite quick, but obviously we don't want insects on it. We've had that problem before actually. So I'm going to take it off now. We'll get it out in the back garden, we'll get it set up, I'll get all the bits and pieces out that I need, and then we'll come back and we'll see. Well, I'll do it, obviously, got to prime it first, um, and we'll go from there. So, I've got to scotch it, clean it, scotch it, uh, and then undercoat it. Not undercoat, you know what I mean, primer. Um, we'll give it three coats of primer, uh, and then we'll give that a few minutes to dry, and then we'll go hit it with the top. Oh, we've well, also got to block it down, of course, and then we'll hit it and try and get it top coated today with three coats of top coat, or possibly. What I might do is two coats of top coat, let that dry for 24 hours and then tomorrow put the wing back on. Because we've got to do that as well and ideally I need to do that at the same sort of time. Because that's a little bit of an indentation there so I'm going to have to try and heat that up and push it out. And obviously um, also do the, uh, do the little damp bits of damage on it as well. I've cleaned most of the black marks off of it. All the top black marks have gone. This is anything that's left there is, is, is damaged so that's obviously push that in. If I heat that up from behind I might be able to push that out because there's a, a distinct dent there. Uh, and then those bits down there probably will come out but I need to get, I, I only use the G10 on it, I think I, used to need, I need to use the G3 on it instead. We don't know what it's going to look like, we don't know whether it's going to match or not. Uh, tomorrow I am picking up a white door. What else can I do? I can't get a door in colour. Um, Sorry, this focus seems to keep going on this. I don't know if it's the, the, the light the light, light and dark that's causing the focus to keep going back, backwards and forwards or not. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, picking up a white door tomorrow uh, and I'm just gonna put that on. And then depending on how that matches, I might paint the door. And depending on the finish as well. I, I, I'm not really expecting it to be good but at least it gets a blue wing on it. And then if I have to take the entire thing, or the, the car to the paint shop, or to a paint shop, and get the entire thing um, done and blended, then that's what I'll do. Obviously, I'd rather do it myself if I can. I'd rather get parts in color if I can, but I can't get them. So that's where we are. So let's get set up and then we'll set you up in the garden and then we'll give it a go. I just want to emphasize the fact that I've never done this before. Not from, a, not from a brand new panel, never done it before. So what I've done, there's the old one by the way. <laughs> See how it's mangled. Yeah, so what I've done is I've uh, used um, panel wipe. So I've panel wiped it all off because there were some greasy finger marks on it. Um, I've then gone over it with a scotch cloth to roughen it up, as you can see. Probably, hopefully see, it's all roughed up, scratched up. Now I've just touched it again, so I need to spray, <laughs> spray some more panel wipe over it. Um, all around the edges, all roughed up. Um, I've put a cable tie on it just there to hold it in place. I say it is fairly breezy today. Um, I've just put these bits of boxes so I don't get me garden waste um, bin covered in grey paint. Uh, well, as best as I can anyway, but um, I'll pull it forward a little bit more actually. So let's put it that way, that'd be better. Um, obviously I need to get behind and do the edges as well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up and do this in real time. In fact, shall I do it in real time? No, blow it, let's do it in... Um, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to at the very least do the primer in, in time lapse and then maybe we'll come back later on and do the, um, the top coat. 
in uh, in real time and then you can all tell me how I've gone wrong <laughs> as I say I have never done this before not from scratch so I sort of know what I'm doing from you know seeing other people do it reading other reading things and so on and so forth um, and then we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah I'll set you up on time lapse we'll just time lapse this bit uh, and then we'll uh, we'll come back once that's dried we'll block it down um, and then get some top coat on so let's get on with it Right, there you go, it's all primed, no runs, which is good. Not that it's a problem if, it, if there were any, because um, obviously we could uh, get rid of those when we blocked it down, but it's nice to have it with none, all the same. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I am gonna have some lunch now. What's that on there? <laughs> Don't know what that was, but it came straight off. It's pretty much dried, surface dry anyway, so whatever that was, it's, it's um, gone. Um, so I'm going to have some lunch and then I have to go out unfortunately um, and then when we when I come back this afternoon I will block it down dry it off more panel wipe get some top coat on so I don't know three I, I didn't really do three it was more like two and a half so I did a dust coat over it let it settle for about 10 minutes did another quite heavy coat and then did another lighter coat you saw me go around the back and did all the edges and what have you so it should all be covered um, yeah I'm looking forward to doing this. I, I, I'm not convinced it's going to match, but um, I had a long conversation with the lady at um, Paints For You. Um, I do recommend them, they're really good. They're a small family business. There's only four, should be five of them. There's only four of them at the moment. Um, and every time I've called them up, you can buy them directly on eBay. Uh, I prefer to call them up, saves them the eBay fees. And it's uh, every time, I've, I think maybe three times I've actually called them up and ordered paint. Um, they have, uh, I've had a good chat with them about paint, obviously, and various other things as well. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have a, have a good chat with them. Um, you make sure you get in the, you know, rather than putting on a note on eBay and saying direct gloss, please, at least you speak to them, you can say direct gloss, please, and they put it in. They've also told me that they, uh, they've now got a, um, a digital mixing, computer aided mixing station. Um, and they said that it is so accurate because some, I think it was particularly metallic paints. Let me turn the camera around a sec. I think it was, um, the lady was saying that particularly metallic paints, um, they're often such minute amounts of a different color to get to the right color that it couldn't be done by a person. It's just so minute, but obviously digitally it can be done with the, using the machine. So, and she said that there's an audit trail of every paint that's mixed so they know it's the right color as well. So that's whether it's in an aerosol or whether you're buying it in tins to, to spray properly, you know, as a professional. Um, same applies, so I do recommend them. And I've had some good results with, uh, with their paint and not some not so good results from other people's paint. Um, and the reason for doing the direct gloss is because the 2K, if you don't get the proper 2K with the, the, the dangerous substances in it, um, which will kill you, it's not as good. Um, it works and it works fairly well, but it's not as good as a proper two-pack um, aerosol. And she actually said they don't sell it to the proper stuff. They don't actually sell it to everyone unless they have anyone, unless they actually have air-fed masks and that, because obviously it is dangerous. Uh, and they did hear about someone that, um, old school, um, which was one of their customers, I think, or it might have been, I don't know, but they spoke to the bloke's wife and he sadly died um, through lung disease. Uh, due to a lifelong abusing, saying, oh, he's all right, don't need a mask. Never used to wear a mask at all when he was painting. Uh, and obviously, that's just silly, isn't it? It just will catch up with you. So, yeah, I highly recommend them. I'll put their website in the, uh, in the description uh, and also their eBay shop as well. Um, you can get any colour from them. They sell all sorts of stuff. Um, I bought um, panel wipe from them. Um, they also do guns. They do all, anything automotive paint related, they do. Um, they're up in Grimsby, Hull, somewhere like that, somewhere up north. Um, but yeah, obviously they ship out. I actually ordered it about two, two, three o'clock in the afternoon. It came the following morning. How about that for service? Um, she did actually say they weren't that busy at the moment, but <laughs> that was probably why. But certainly in the past, it's come within a couple of days. That's, that's for sure. But yeah, highly recommend them. Uh, anyway, 
back to this. So yeah, it's, it's probably dried now. I probably could block it down now, but I'm going to leave it uh, an hour, a couple of hours probably, because I'm going to be out for, uh, and then we'll come back this afternoon and get top coat on them. Fingers crossed that it does match. I'm more hopeful than had it been a paint from somebody else, but we know this is quite a difficult co uh, color to match. So we will see. So I'll see you in a bit. comes the scary bit so you saw me do the uh, primer you saw me block down the primer uh, I then um, used uh, panel wipe on it and then after that I've used a tack cloth so it should be scrupulously clean grease free and dust free now comes the scary bit to put the base coat on so I'm going to just um, adjust how this is sitting here. It's a bit breezy than I'd like it to be, but I've got to work with what I've got. So, yeah, so I'm just going to readjust adjust how it sits there um, and um, give my paint a good shake and then we'll make a start. Scary stuff. All right, here we go. Scary stuff. Well, it's been given a good shake. Going to give it a little dust coat to start with so my idea here is to give it three coats uh, we'll see how it looks after three coats and we may go for four here it goes so a little dust coat first Right, whoops, that's me dust coat. So we'll leave that a few minutes. I know you can dry it off by uh, heat gun, but I'm just gonna leave it 10 minutes uh, and then we'll come back. Um, oh, this wind is picking up again. I don't want things blowing on it, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, right, that's me dust coat done. Um, be back in 10 minutes. Right, so here we go, second coat. It is really windy. Oh, every now and again, we get a gust of wind. It's not ideal. Typical, isn't it? Here it comes, there's a big gust. Just let it die down and then we'll carry on. You can see the way it's blowing in the, when I'm putting it on. You may even be able to hear it stop for a second. At least it will help to, um, I'm filming it from two angles, I don't know how much you're getting in here. Probably can't see anything. <laughs> from that camera anyway. It seems to be laying down quite nicely. Trying to get that little flick of the wrist that I see the professionals do. <laughs> It's quite nerve-wracking, but what's the worst that can happen? The wind blows it over. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, it probably ain't gonna match anyway, but we've got to try, haven't we? We have got to try. Oh, it's bloody wind. It wasn't windy at all earlier. 
although it was meant to rain today and it hasn't done so I should be grateful really for small mercies It does seem to be laying down quite nice. Whether the colour's going to be any decent match or not remains to be seen. feel like I needed to wear a mask outdoors. Some of these bits that I can't really get to properly, I will do afterwards. Right, I think that will do for my second coat. Yeah, no runs. Looks good. Right, last coat, hopefully. nice thick coat so far don't want to say it too loudly but so far no runs which seems to be laying on quite good as far as I can see virtually use the whole can now. I don't want it to start spitting of course. So I think we'll say for now that's it. We'll just do all these bits around the edge. glad I bought two tins because although this one's all gone on here I've got the um, bumper to do as well haven't I 
which obviously made at the same time so it will be exactly the same as this That's it, it's empty this can. There you go, done. Whew. Nerve wracking. Obviously it's wet, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. So as you can see, very, very, there's not much orange peel on there, you know? Not much at all. So I think once that's um, polished up, cut and polished, Hopefully that will be nice and shiny. It's not too bad. So as direct gloss, of course, we don't need lacquer. But yeah, there's no runs. It's equal. There might be a tiny little mark just there. Look, I don't know if you can see that. Tiny little bit of dust or something there. But hopefully we can get that to dry off as quick as possible. What I'm gonna quickly do, I'm just gonna get the old wing and hold it up. Obviously this is a shiny wing, but we might be able to oh, just hold it up to it and see what it looks like. Doesn't look bad actually. Don't know. <laughs> Impossible to tell. Because it's shiny, it looks different obviously, but it looks alright. Just without being polished, obviously it's deceiving. But it's it's gone on really nicely. So I'm pleased about that. So we'll leave that now leave that to dry and then I'm gonna to have to try and put it away with the ladder at some point overnight even though it will be dry I can't leave it out here yeah that's that so yeah pleased with that what do you think what do you think my first my first attempt at doing something like that you know I've done bits of bumpers and that type of thing before and I've obviously blended in bits of panel where I've repaired it but never done a complete wing like that before now, I was seeing what that will come out like, and if that actually comes out any good, colour-wise, because it's, it's laid down all right, colour-wise, I'm picking up that white door tomorrow, so you never know, I could even paint that, but we need to see what this comes out like first, otherwise it'll have to go to the body shop to have this and the door done properly. We'll see, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm not convinced it's going to work first time I've done it, so we'll just have to wait and see tomorrow when I'll polish it up tomorrow. So that will come on the next video. So for now, that's the day one of the teardown and already painting panels. How good is that? So, you know, if I had been able to get those panels sooner in colour, this car would have been done within a week easily. But it wasn't to be with this colour, which is why I want to get one to break up and or buy parts. As you know, I've got two bumpers. Uh, I need to get bonnets and wings for future cars. Because as I said before, I always shy away from this, uh, this colour because purely for the fact that I can't get the, the panels in colour. But if, that, if this is any success, then you know that might remove that necessity. Although it would still be better, of course, to get panels in the right colour because they do tend to match, so we wouldn't have any problems. But as I say, for now, that is it. This will be a Sunday video. I've got to go and get it all sorted out, edited and uploaded, ready for 9am tomorrow. So uh, until the next one, as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. We will see you on Wednesday, hopefully. Until then, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then.